In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to turn these pre-cut diamonds into a six-pointed star block. Hi, I'm Jo from Elsie Grays, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to handpiece a six-pointed star. Six-pointed star is such a great shape to use in a variety of projects. I have used this technique in our latest new release project, Chambray Stars. The tools you'll need for this project is a small quarter inch ruler, a mechanical pencil, a pair of scissors, pins with a needle, thread, needle threader if needed, and your pre-cut shapes. Using the Elsie Gray's six pointed star template, you can now cut your fabric pieces. If you have purchased one of our pre-cut kits, saving hours of cutting, you can now go straight to the next step of drawing your quarter inch seams. With your ruler, I'm just going to draw my quarter inch seams. Making sure you have this little crossover here. Once all your pieces are cut, I arrange my star so I know what it's going to look like. These will go on last and we're going to sew these three together and these three together. Okay, so now we're going to start pinning our pieces together. I use the clover patchwork pins, they're nice and fine. And remember I talked about that little crossover there? We're going to pop our pin right in there and in the other side. Pop a pin there and one here. Okay, and now we're ready for sewing. You can pop another one here if you feel like you need to. Just making sure that you're coming through on the other side on the line. Okay, to start I just start right in that corner where that pin is. Pull that pin out and I just do a little back stitch. To secure that, that starting point. Ah, of course that's going to happen. Okay, so now we're just going to do a little running stitch making sure you're on the line. So I do about three to four stitches and I just turn that over and double check I'm on the line. A little back stitch. And the running stitch all the way along. Always checking the other side that you're on that line. If you feel like you're going sort of off offline, just manoeuvre the fabric round with your fingers. Always starting with another little secure stitch at the beginning. And I'm just going to go right into that corner there where the pin is. Pull that pin out. And there's your first two pieces together. Okay, once you've got your two first pieces together, we're going to sew this one onto here. Same technique. So we get three pieces like that. Okay, once you've got your two halves sewn, we're now going to sew these two together. So right sides together again. And I'm just going to pin in that corner. And same again on this one. And then at the start. Now I don't pop a pin in the middle. I pop one right, sort of right in this little 
bit here, not quite in the center. So I'll put one there and one there and I'll show you why when we get to that center bit. Okay, so again we're starting in this corner. I'll just pop my needle in there right where that pin is. Just making sure that you're in on the right, on your line on the both sides. Again, we're just going to do a little running stitch. Now I normally do this sitting down and I'm finding it a little bit difficult standing up. <laughs> so again, just a little running stitch, about three or four stitches, and then I do a little back stitch to secure it. always checking on the other side that we're right on that line. Now when I get to this bit here, I'm pulling the, both those seams away from my sewing. I'm going to try and get right as close as I can in this corner. Pop that pin out. Oh, now I've got a knot. <laughs> Back stitch. And always checking that we're right on that line. Okay, so the centre of the star, we're going to pop our needle through this first seam. And we're going to go all the way around the star. Just making sure that you're just going through each. Each side. Making sure you don't get hooked on anything, which I have done here. So we're going sort of around that centre of the star like one and a half times, you could say. Because we're back to where we started. But we need to get to here to sew from here to here. So back through those centre seams and then when I'm here I give it a little bit of a, a tug to make sure that all those seams are coming in together in the centre of that star and making sure that you're pushing that seam over so you're not sewing it down little back stitch and off we go again making sure that we're no I'm not on the line there so I'm just going to pull that pin out just maneuver that down a little bit and then we're back on the back on the line again so we go all the way across Once you get the hang of sewing these stars by hand, they're so quick. Especially if they're all pre-cut for you. There's no cutting involved. Okay, so we're back at the pin. We're just going to do a little back stitch there. And I'll just show you how we do the my... I'll do a little knot at the end here. And I always just do an extra little knot there. Cut your thread. And there's your first star. And see the centre there is perfect. 
Okay, once you've finished your star, we're going to add our, um, our outside diamonds. And we sew these all the way around, sort of in one, in one, um, I use one piece of thread and I go all the way around and that creates the hexagon shape. So again, we're just pinning like we did before in the corner. And then we're just going to sew from there to there and then we're going to manoeuvre that around and then up to there. Okay, so when you're sewing the outside diamonds, we sew from, uh, from here to here and we don't need to end off or anything. We're just going to scoop that around there, pin that one in place. And then you can sew from there to there. And you sew your diamonds all the way around your star. So it will, this is just another little sample of um, another little table runner that, we're, that I'm doing at the moment. So I have sewn all the way round and it looks a bit of a mess until you press your star. And when you go to press your star, see how I fanned out the, the star in the centre there? Just, like, just so it sits nice and flat. You'll see on every alternate row, you'll need to do a half star. So there's three there, okay? There'll be another one up the top and then there's more on the other side. So basically how to do your half star is just your three uh, main prints and then four of your uh, surrounding background and that will be sewn on like that. Then I just when that one's sewn on, I just trim those off. Once all your stars are sewn together, I lay mine out on a design wall and then I decided to put the prints on a diagonal pattern here. And then it's quite a nice quilt to look at visually because it then gives you another little block here which looks like a little tumbling block. I've also added a crocheted edge which is a really simple edge on this one and um, added some tassels on the edge. For those of you wanting a smaller hand piecing project using that same technique, we have a limited number of mini chambre star table topper kits available on our website. Pre-orders for the chambre star kits are now available on our website. Kits are available with or without the crocheted edge from $229. As a pre-order bonus for the first 20 orders of the full kits with yarn, we will package your kit in one of these gorgeous suitcases. Huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We've been absolutely blown away by all the support. Stay tuned as we will have some great exclusive offers to our subscribers in the new year. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I highly recommend giving this technique a go. As usual, please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment. I've had lots of messages on social media that I don't know how to crochet. Coming very soon will be a series of tutorials on crochet for beginners.